right, and welcome back. We are playing Resident Evil 1 HD Remake as Jill. Uh, last time we went through, we picked up the shotgun, uh, which we're actually going to put away for right now. We don't need it on us at the moment. And we'll put that in there with the shotgun shells. And we are going to be exploring a whole bunch of rooms that we just unlocked. So basically we are going around collecting stuff and doing a lot of puzzles. And our goal right now is to complete a whole bunch of puzzles. And we want to be going uh, upstairs for that right now. I love there's only like certain parts of the mansion where you actually hear the thunder and see the lightning, but anytime you go outside, that storm's not happening. The controller's sticky. That's not good. Okay, so we're gonna come in. Last time, uh, last episode, we actually unlocked this door on our way towards the safe room. So, we. What we wanna do is move all of these so that they are all pushed back but if you move them certain others move along with it um i haven't actually figured out the exact pattern of the best way to do it But it actually looks like we're doing it in the right order right now, so. And that one moves on its own. Okay, so if you don't do that, uh, woe to those who disturb my sleep, and press this button, uh, the room fills with poisonous gas instead. <laughs> So you want to make sure that all of those are actually set into place properly. Mysterious jewelry box. So we want to look at the box. There's a design of the sun and the moon. On the plate it says, sunshine will awaken me. So uh, in the sun are two parts of a heart. So we want to find the hearts that have switches and press those switches to light up the heart will open and now we have one of those masks remember the really really creepy tomb that we went down into um these are for that tomb we want to collect four of these masks sorry uh make jill dance make jill dance sorry something sticky got in my controller and i'm gonna have to actually clean that out <laughs> that's not good you don't you don't want a sticky controller uh, so the other door that we unlocked here is this one but we don't actually want to we still don't want to go in there just yet even though we have unlocked it there are other places that we we want to go first that's basically the last uh, section that we want to go to at this part in the game so we are actually we want to go on to the other balcony And uh, so we'll come out here to this balcony. I do have to say these moths are really huge. They're really huge moths, but there is some handgun bullets here. Normally it takes me a lot longer to actually get that to line up properly to pick that up. Oh, cutscene. Jill, don't scare me. I don't remember this cutscene the last time I played. <laughs> so I think maybe this is based on on timing. Ooh. What could have done this to him? God only knows, but let's find out what did this to him. Jill, did you 
investigate other areas. Yeah, sure. Uh, once again, Jill, let's split up. This is no longer useful to Forrest. We don't know what's going to happen. Take it with you. Here, have this grenade launcher. Yeah, if you don't come, if you come to this section a little bit later, um, I still can't believe it. you just, you don't run into Barry. Everything, so you still get the grenade launcher because it's just sitting there by Forrest. But Barry's not here to talk to you and hand it to you. You just kind of pick it up yourself. Um, over here is just some green herbs. Uh, there's nothing else here. We don't need them right now. So the other puzzles that we want to go through, there's one downstairs that we want to hit by our safe box. And then uh, there's a couple other on the other side of the mansion. We'll do the one by the safe box first. Barry's just gonna s just sit there staring at his mutilated corpse of their former comrade. Uh, they actually don't mention it. Uh, he got eaten by crows. Is actually what happens to Forrest there. Uh, crazy zombie mutant crows uh, tore him apart is what happens to poor forest. We'll go back around this side so that we can avoid the corridor of death where we had a zombie dog eat our throat out. So we're going to stop in at the safe room before going through this way and drop off the grenade launcher because we do not need that on us at the moment and we do want inventory space. Inventory space is very important. Uh, yeah, The sword key, there's only one more door that we need to unlock with that and we will do that soon after the puzzle that we're just about to do because we're going to be going to that side of the mansion and then that'll also free up more inventory space oh no I don't want to go want to oh we want to go this way uh, eventually that will break on us <laughs> Oh shit! Where did that guy come from? Has he always been here? Oh fuck. Fuck, 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 fuck. Oh no. Are you dead? Are you dead? No, you're not dead. Shit. Uh, oh no! Oh no, oh no, I don't have any defense items right now. Shit, 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 shit. Die! Die! Oh my gosh. Oh, that sucked so hard. Where did that guy come from? Shit. Okay. <laughs> so now we've gotten that out of the way. Oh, crap. I think we're going to have to burn that guy too. Okay, so we've got these stained glass and we've got... Rather normal looking crows just kind of hanging out. I don't know if they were always here or if they like came in after the mansion went to hell. Lisa, protected by the three spirits. A picture of a woman wearing a bracelet, a necklace, and a crown. And the crown is green, the bracelet is purple, sorry, the necklace is purple and the bracelet is orange. Uh, we do not want to hit that switch because otherwise those crazy ass crows are going to come and get us okay picture of a sage wearing a necklace it's set in red stained glass 
there's a switch here press it okay so on one side of the room are blue lights on the other side of the room are red lights and we basically just need to change the color of the stained glass by you know mixing primary colors to make secondary colors and yellow plus blue is green we're gonna go around the other side in the actual original of this this puzzle in this room was a lot more complicated and you actually had to click on uh, or press the buttons on pictures based on like the life cycle of of the person and it got confusing because like teenager and young adult weren't really well defined in the pictures whereas this is so much easier I'm actually surprised with all of the upgrades that they made to this game that they changed this puzzle to be easier than it was before so now we're actually gonna press the button oh look another one of the creepy ass masks so we have a death mask without eyes, nose, or mouth. And, no, not use, I want to examine. And a death mask without a mouth. There are two other masks that we need to collect. We're gonna use the lock pick to unlock this door. This is very important because this actually cleans up one of the most used routes when you're moving through the mansion. Uh, is having that door unlocked so that you can get back to the main hall which is where we're gonna go now so that we can get to the west side of the mansion and unlock some more doors do 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 Now, I'm pretty sure that we didn't actually get rid of the zombie that's in this hallway. So... Yep, there he is. Um, oh! Oh, that was beautiful! Oh, that makes me so happy. gonna go into the lounge there's something written in the corner of the picture commemorating the completion of the mansion this crazy ass mansion uh, we do not actually need the ink ribbons that are here check it out it's a piano kind of want to steal all of that liquor Then again, being drunk during a zombie apocalypse, probably not the best idea. So we're gonna move this out of the way, and we're gonna pick up a musical score. And then we're gonna examine the musical store score. It's Moonlight Sonata. Open it up, and it's missing a whole section of music, which sucks. Uh, so that's all we can do in this room right now. And we're gonna, no, 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 no. I was clicking on the door, there we go. So we're gonna actually go down, further down this hallway so that we can get rid of that sword key that is still just lingering in our inventory. If, uh, if you don't do this right away, uh, it actually, it just takes up space in your inventory for the longest time. We're not gonna go through the door. We're just going to unlock that door so that we free up that inventory space that the key was taking up. Uh, what is the best way to get to where we wanna go next? 
I believe we're gonna have to actually go back upstairs. So we're gonna come back through the dining room because this is, yeah, it's locked from the other side. And that's basically where we need to go, but we need to get there the back route to do it. Um, <laughs> part of the main puzzle of this game is just to figure out how to navigate the mansion itself in the fact that it is, it is very linear uh, when it comes to where you can actually go based on where you are in the game just between all of the locked doors and it really forces the routes that you can take uh, especially when you find out that like half of the doors um, are just locked from the other side so we're gonna come out onto the terrace and we actually want to make sure that this route is clear because we're gonna need it soon Okay, it's just moths. I thought I heard something. Okay, it looks like this route is clear because we did have that zombie decide to open the door and come at us last time. Freakiest zombie apocalypse is when the zombies know how to open doors. Okay, and we left him here... Uh, I can't see enough of him to find out whether he's gone crimson already or not. Do we risk it? We risk it. We go past him. Okay. We've got some zombies that need to get burned up. It's not good. They're just gonna hang out, get all collected and bloody, and... Um, we want to grab something from our inventory. We're gonna go in here and we are going to pick up that chemical that we found. Uh, we're actually gonna put the music score away because we don't need that right this moment. And we are gonna pick up this chemical that we picked up out of the gardens on the east side of the mansion where that zombie dog was stalking us. I got some like eerie mood lighting going on <laughs> with me, my webcam right now. Um, okay, so we get to unlock this door. Now I should have actually, there's an, another item that we have not picked up yet that I should have brought with us because I knew that we were going this way. But that's okay because we get more chances to come back this way. We are going to go down this corridor here and there's some really awesome freaky shadow stuff. There's a zombie at that window and he is about to break free? Maybe? No? Maybe on the way back. Okay. Creepy, creepy zombie. Just banging out the window. Like, hey guys! I wanna play! Okay. Uh, so apparently this virus also can make vicious sentient plants. Uh, we don't want to go any further because otherwise that plant is going to attack us. So what we want to do is come over here. We have a water pump going on here. We don't, um, we don't want to pump the water right now. What we want to do is take that chemical and put it in the water. And there are two pipes that are leading out of this pump. And we want it to go the red one. That'll lead to the fountain that's gonna kill that zombie plant. Look at that thing, look at it go. What is that even? Uh, if you had chosen, chosen uh, green, it would have sprayed that chemical all over these this huge array of healing herbs that are here and would have destroyed them and that would have taken out a lot of healing that you would really want to have. So now we've collected three out of the four masks. This is the death mask without eyes. The last one we're actually about to get to, we're going to pick up one of these herbs and we're going to use it because we're sitting at caution right now. We want to be at fine. So we want to go 
Uh, there's one more room that we want to get into before we leave this section. And that zombie's about to break through. <laughs> I'm saying it. I know that he's doing it. I still jump. Oh, okay. Uh, we are just going to leave those guys for now. And uh, we're going to come in here. <sighs> jump scares, man. Oh. Hello, zombie man. What you doing? Just laying down, having a little nap. Okay. Oh, fuck. Doesn't matter. Doesn't matter how many times. Okay, this is by far my favorite memo to come out of this game. To come out of any video game. This is my favorite. Keeper's Diary. Played poker tonight with Scott and Elias from security and Steve from research. Steve was the big winner, but I think he was cheating. Scumbag. One of the higher-ups assigned me to take care of a new creature. It looks like a skinned gorilla. Feeding instructions were to give it live animals. When I threw in a pig, the creature seemed to play with it, tearing off the pig's legs and pulling out the guts before it actually started eating. At around 5 a.m., Scott woke me up. Scared the shit out of me, too. He was wearing a protective suit. He handed me another one and told me to put it on. He said there had been an accident in the basement lab. So this is actually the accidents happening in May and we are in June. So yeah, it's been about a month that everything has gone down in this mansion. I just knew something like this would happen. Those bastards in research never sleep even on holiday. I've been wearing the damn spacesuit since yesterday. My skin's getting grimy and feels itchy all over. The goddamn dogs have been looking at me funny, so I decided not to feed them today. Screw them. Went to the infirmary because my back is all swollen and feels itchy. They put a big bandage on it and told me I didn't wear, need to wear this suit anymore. All I want to do is sleep. Found another big blister on my foot this morning. I ended up dragging my foot all the way to the dog's pen. They were quiet all day, which is weird. Then I realized some of them had escaped. Maybe this is their way of getting back at me for not feeding them the last three days. If anybody finds out, I'll have my head handed to me. Rumors going around that a researcher who tried to escape the estate last night was shot. My entire body feels hot and itchy, and I'm sweating all the time now. I scratched the swelling on my arm, and a piece of rotten flesh dropped off. What the hell's happening to me? Fever gone, but itchy. Today hungry, and eat doggy food. Itchy, itchy. Scott came. Ugly face, so killed him. Tasty. Itchy. Tasty. Yep, that's it. I, absolutely. <laughs> My favorite thing to ever come out of video games is itchy, tasty. Um, there is one more thing, and we need this to happen to get it. Uh, no. Okay, well, we got a battery. Oh, and the other guy got up. <laughs> Oh my gosh, go down, go down, go down! Go down! No! No! Stay down! Oh my gosh, this is horrible. No, no, I am not dying to a zombie. Oh my gosh, we're in danger. That is so bad. Oh, that is so bad. Stupid, stupid zombies. All right, well, we got a battery pack for the one to replace the one that we just used. Uh. All right. <sighs> Here we go. Hopefully the two zombies that just broke out though the windows haven't caught up to us yet and we can just kind of- Oh crap. No! No! We need to get somewhere where there is healing and no zombies. So we're gonna go back to the other side. We need to go to the other side of the mansion anyways because now that door that we unlocked that I had not gone through that is where we need to go right now um, after we heal ourselves. It's 
stupid, stupid zombies. Oh, look at her hobble. She's like, ah, oh, I'm so hurt. I'm so hurt. I'm gonna go back and get a fade spray. Probably the best. It's actually, um, fade sprays will pretty much bring you back up to the top no matter where you are. And uh, whereas a green herb will just heal one level of status, there's four there's fine yellow caution orange caution and then danger uh there's also poison but that is something what we will come across later in the game so we're gonna hobble back to our little hidey hole here We're gonna grab ourselves a fade spray. Use it. All right. Now, and rather next time, we're gonna go through that room that we hadn't been in before. <laughs>